What's up, guys? Yeah, a little while ago, I sold a dirt bike. Uh, just sitting in here in the shop, as you can see. I got my laptop out. Took a rip on the sled. It's snowing. Really, real wet snow. It's like 34 degrees outside, and it's it's not really good. It's all so freaking wet. And yeah, bike's gone. I'm gonna uh, let the exhaust cool off on the sled and pull that off, clean it, paint it. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, edit and I'm gonna edit this other video for the uh, what you call it here. Uh, Listen to some good old Jaja boys here. I'm chatting a couple people on Facebook while I'm working. But, uh, yeah. Hoping to get a uh, down payment on the Volve. Uh, let's see. I'll show you guys a picture of what it relatively looks like. Can't really see that that well because it's a camera and it's kind of shiny in the picture. But that's. Well, that's simple looks. It may look a little bit different, but it's a dark green. It may, yeah, it looks black in the video, but it's a dark green. Uh, it's like a pearl, dark green pearl or something like that, I don't know. But uh, it's a five-speed turbo. I'm not sure if it's T5 or if it's a, it's a light pressure turbo. Um, but either way, if it's turbo, T5 or the GLX, I'm putting boost... Uh, they're putting the valve and I'm um, putting the uh, adjustable boost valve in it, or whatever you want to call it. Putting a blow off valve in it. Uh, yeah, it's that um, little doofinger that goes in between the wastegate. It's a wastegate valve or whatever. It's not the blow off valve, but uh, you can either turn it up or turn it down to get more or less boost. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get that. And if it's uh, the light. Turbo, I'm gonna see how much it costs to swap into a T5. But if it's gonna cost a whole bunch more, I'll just buy the boost gauge, buy the uh, buy bigger injectors, the 350cc injectors, um, or 350 injectors, because that's what comes stock in the T5. This, these have like three something, 300 something. But uh, I'll swap out injectors. And I'll see if I can get at least 10 pounds of boost out of the light pressure turbo with some tweaking. Because I think the stock, they come boosted like 5 pounds, 4 or 5 pounds of boost. Maybe 6, I'm not entirely sure, but, you know. Uh, well, yeah, the bike is gone. And I paid for some parts I bought. I still owe, let's see, paid 140. I owed 500. You get the gist of it here. Trying to do math on the top of my head here. I'm not, I haven't done math today. Well, 40 and 60 is 100. So, I still owe $360. Yeah, $360. The one person for parts I've bought and stuff. So, that's pretty much that tractor right there is what I still owe. I've already paid back for what I owe on this, pretty much. Yeah, wait for the exhaust cool down she's still I mean it's not incredibly hot to touch you can see I'm holding my hand on it but I mean it's enough if you hold your hand on it long enough it will burn you but uh yeah I'm not even gonna dare try touching that triple W or Y pipe or whatever it is I call it W pipe because it's a three not a two but uh yeah I'm gonna take that back off even though I had it off the other day I was gonna paint it but I didn't have any high temperature paint um, I'm gonna take this, to, take the first stage of the exhaust, and I'll take the second stage. And if anyone could comment below um, for where I can find a can and a part number for the can, this would be a 1994 Polaris XLT triple 600. Um, if anyone could let me know anywhere I could find a can for these, I probably could find a, like a snowmobile dealership or something, but uh. You know, maybe a website that would be cheaper than going to the dealership or if anyone's got one used that they don't want to use anymore because this is probably actually not going on the trail like I said because of that nice green machine I showed you, that beater pig. Um, yeah, that's what most of my money's going to be going to after I get my license here. 
but uh, maybe I'll stash a little bit away so I can get this on trail. But uh, you know, I don't really care if uh, I get it on trail or not, as long as I can. Well, you obviously know that I got this huge back metal behind me, and the camera's not focusing. It's not focusing. Not focusing. There we go. She's starting to come into it. As you can see, there's the house. Got the metal right there, and that's something on the inside of the window. Then go over there, go all the way up over there. There's even more you can't see. You go over there, you go all the way behind my house. You can see over there where the tree line is. You can go past that tree line even further over there. You can see there's more. I got three fields to ride, and I got the yard. Um, you can see there's some sled tracks there. Ripping up through there. Yeah, the sled's really, really running amazing. Before, if I wanted to get going at a high speed, I have to flip the choke up from none to about half, give a little bit of gas and get it going, and flip the choke back down. You know, keep it going. But uh, yeah, she's loving life now. You know, fired up. Second, third pull today. I started to go on second, and then I kind of died it out because I gave it a little bit of throttle too early. But, uh, you know. Yeah. I think it's that cylinder over there. It's, uh, I don't have the spring in that cylinder for the choke. And uh, every now and again, if it's not quite warmed up and you give it gas and it bogs down, you can hear that cylinder die out. But that, then it'll come right back to it. It'll be like, it'll idle and it'll die for like two seconds and it'll come right back. Just because it gets a little bit too much gas with the choke thing. But after, you know, it warm, it's warmed up, it's fine. Oh, that scared me. A bunch of snow just fell out of the back of the sled. Oh! That's maybe why it's pulling over here. I broke my, uh... <laughs> broke my custom-made guide. And this one's already starting to wear out. I've only used it once. Oh, it looks like I'm making some more guides. <laughs> yeah, I probably better buy some. Damn it, I don't want to buy any. Anyway, I guess I gotta go. Ah, fuck. It's snorming out. I might, I might actually go get those today. I don't know, I ain't heard from one of my buddies yet. I was wondering if he wanted to come out and ride sleds tomorrow. It's not really snowing. It's spitting a little bit of snow, but, you know, I'm gonna paint my exhaust here and make it look nice. Um, take them chicken wire things out, paint those. Um... Yeah, it says, you can see I got my bar, my two inch custom made bar risers in, they work great. I mean, that's just playing the, uh, down at the bottom, you can see it's moving just a hair. But, uh, I really like the bar risers, it's just enough so I'm not bending over when I'm standing up, but I'm not, you know, my arms aren't completely relieved of, like, their extension, they're still extended full like that. And, uh, it works good for me. And I'm also getting 6 inch risers to try. Um, these are 2 inch and these are pretty high. Uh, yeah, the 6 inches will probably might be too high, I'm not sure. But they come with the uh, extensions for the brake and the throttle. You know, I'll probably put those on, try those out. If I don't like them, I'll take them back off and put the 2 inch back on. Uh, no, there's a hose clamp down there. Yeah, there's a hose clamp right there. I guess they didn't clean this engine bay out too well. <laughs> Better clean that out again. <laughs> well, this video is about 8 minutes long now, I'm guessing. And, uh, I still got other 5-10 minute videos to edit. So this is probably going to be 2 or 3 part series, because YouTube will only let me upload 15 minute long videos, and I'm, only, I'm almost at 10 minutes here. Uh, yeah, this one will be its own video on its own, then, I guess. But, uh, yeah... Good run and sled for three hundred dollars beside the road. I'd say nice tight motor. Must it, it must have been rebuilt because it's got over six thousand miles on this. I told you guys, and I mean, this thing runs amazing. It's got such a tight motor in it. I mean, if I put if I uh, put a little bit extra money into this and got my new fuel filter, my new air filters, and uh, Rejetted the carbs and cleaned the carbs out really nice. Like took them to a machine, not a machine shop, to a, a mechanic, and had him put it in his parts cleaner, electric parts cleaners that zap through everything. 
clean it right out. I bet it would run like a top. But yeah, on the, on the agenda is new chain case fluid, um, new bearings for some of the back wheels, um, new sliders. Um, I gotta get brake fluid. I put car brake fluid in it because there was nothing in it at the point in time. I mean, it still stops good. So you can see that? See, it just barely move. It's got nice brake pads in it. They're pretty new. After I get using it some more, you know, I'll probably pull that off, put new brake pads in, put new fluid in, put new radiator fluid in. Yeah, I gotta grease up the skis. I'm looking for another set of skis like these. If anyone's got a set that, you know, aren't, you know, they're not brand new, but they're not shit like these are, and have carbides on them, uh, PM me or something, because I'm really looking for some. The uh, cheapest pair I've found so far is 140 I think without carbides and they're just like these metal ones but also there's a set of plastic ones on the internet for 180 with new they're plastic they're like these but they're you know the plastic covers and they're yeah they're black too but they got brand new carbides in them six inch or something like that but yeah if I can get a set for a hundred dollars that don't have any carbides I'll swap these carbides out onto those because these still got a little bit of life left in them and since I'm not riding trail you know works for me but as you can see the fire's roaring it's picking back up in here it was 50 or it was like 45 now it's coming up to about 52 54 and eventually I'll dig the old mower back out of its little spot over there and fixed transmission. I just don't really want to work on it right now. I haven't had the desire to work on that transmission. Kind of gets me mad after I work on it a little bit. I don't want to lose parts either because I lost some little balls for the shift. That's not fun. Alrighty guys. Got General Lee Hood hanging up over there. I don't know how that's going to look on the video. I just zoomed in. Good old General Lee Hood hanging up over there. Got the stack hole cut out of it. She's loving to hang up over there. She gets some looks from people that don't usually come here, come in the shop. But, uh, yeah. That shop, that little shop rail's worth some money. That thing's worth some money, and that case back here's gonna bring me in some money. So, look out for some videos on a Vol the Volvo. Um, I'm gonna see if one of my buddies can help me do a stereo. Well, not really whole stereo, just subs. Either one 12 inch or two 12 inches. No, one 15 inch or two 12s. Whatever's cheaper. Probably one 15 is cheaper. But, you know. And that's going to get me a little bit better sounding bass. Get bumping. Be bumping and boosting at the same time, you know. <laughs> Alright, guys, I better go for this mini video's over 15 minutes and I can't upload it to YouTube and I have to split it in half and it's just a big pain in the ass. You can see I'm a redneck and not very computer smart, what you'd call it. But uh, I get by with the Microsoft mo video edit movie, edit, whatever it's called. But yeah, I just kind of copy and paste these things in there and, you know, hope for the best. But yeah, look out for the Volvo video. Look out for more videos on the sled. Look out for the tractor. Look out for the case. Look out for that. Look out for whatever. May end up somewhere as your neck of the woods, your neighbor might buy it, your buddy might buy it, your brother might buy it, you never know. I mean, the guy who bought my dirt bike went clear to, or the guy who bought the lawnmower off the guy who bought my dirt bike, he went, he climbed clear, clear from Quebec, Canada or something like that down to pick the lawnmower up. Just so, uh, he can have a lawnmower for spring, I don't know. But, uh... It was an uh, LT1000 or something like that. But, uh, yeah. Look out for videos on the Subaru. The Scooby. We're going to be doing some head gasket repair. Some body repair. Some detailing. Make it more black. Alright, guys. This video, this video is 14 minutes, 30 seconds long. I better get going. You guys have a good one. And remember. They're trying to catch me riding dirty.